To date, there are some five persons who have tested positive for the novel coronavirus for the Belmopan area in this wave of the pandemic. Since the virus was detected in Belize back in March, the management of the Western Regional Hospital has been ensuring that surveillance is on point and structurally they are ready to accommodate persons who may be suspect cases of the deadly disease. On the compound, the flu clinic retrofitted with the quarantine area, operating theatre and ICU area, all separate from the established facility, has been set up. For the past six months, we have done some restructuring of uh, part of the compound here at Western Regional Hospital that is designated just for COVID um, well, surveillance and case management as well for patients who are positive. So what we've done here is that uh, we basically have a COVID wing, as you said, that now has a flu clinic. That flu clinic uh, basically is to screen all patients that come to the hospital with respiratory conditions. In the interim that we have the tests being done, we will host these patients in a, um, in a transit house uh, where we have three rooms for patients. So this is just until we get a result. After we get a result, if they're positive, then these patients are moved to the COVID wards. So we have two COVID wards, right? Uh, one that has a capacity for eight beds, so six adults and two, two children. Um, and we have another wing that, uh, that was once the old vaccine room. We basically remodeled the entire building to fit a COVID ward. But in addition to this, very important is that we also made a operating theater. We also have a labor and delivery room for, and this is just for COVID positive patients, right? A ward that can hold eight patients, a recovery room for two patients. We also have a neonatal area that can hold four, uh, four beds. And we also have an area for ICU care, which can hold five beds. It is essentially a mini hospital primarily for COVID-19 purposes. One of the structures in place includes an entry triage on the compound. Here, persons are processed before they are directed to the area of service. As it relates to suspect COVID-19 cases, there should be no hold-up, and those persons are sent immediately to the flu clinic. Is to separate patients as quickly as possible and send them to the designated portions of the hospital to decrease contamination and, and them contacting different things at the hospital. So when the patient comes in, Somebody sees them in me from the enter. Somebody speaks with them. We find out where they're going. If it's a pregnant mother or it's an emergency, they go straight to emergency. We don't keep them. If it's, for example, for the respiratory clinic at the back, they don't even stay here 10, 30 seconds. We find out what is wrong and they go immediately to the respiratory area. The people that we keep out here for a short while are the people who are going just to outpatient, who we have to do a little bit more monitoring to make sure that that's where they belong. Because you have some people who come in a little bit confused and it's after you've been speaking with them for like three minutes, do you realize that, oh, the, you said you didn't have cough or cold, but you do have cough or cold. And so we need to make sure that these people are going to the correct areas. On Tuesday, an elderly COVID positive patient from Hope Creek, a nurse, was transferred from the facility to the Carl Hirschner Memorial Hospital. Currently, there are three symptomatic persons awaiting their results at the facility. Regional Health Manager, Dr. Javier Zuniga, says that the place is properly equipped but human resources are already stretched thin and they are in need of that kind of support. We don't have the staff. We cannot staff this at the moment uh, with our staff because we are already stretched in with staffing. So if we do open up this, uh, these areas, we will have to bring uh, staff from other areas to fill the gaps at, uh, in the COVID area. Now, this has already been opened and in use? We are already opened. Uh, we're still finalizing the the um uh, the structure at the moment in terms of uh, the equipment and uh, the, the medical resources that are needed within the facility uh, but we already have the apu section which has the eight beds that's already operating since uh, the covid uh, pandemic started Dwayne Moody for News 5.